much things back here. Oh, hey there, welcome back. I decided to get myself some food while I was waiting for the stream to come back. And, uh, yeah, so just to pick up where I left off for maybe a little bit farther back because I'm not sure if the, uh, the VOD would capture the minute or so before the uh, stream went out. Um, so to catch you up, we met our main character, Anna, who is this little girl from the upper deck. Um, very ordinary little girl, plays with her grandfather, and her grandfather is, well, also loves uh, Anna, but is rather protective of her. He constantly warns her of the outside world and that she uh, should never be out after dark or do too much work. He seems to be very insistent on uh, doing anything and everything for Anna. Uh, unfortunately, one day, Anna was kidnapped by a witch who revealed that Anna was actually capable of uh, telekinetic powers and could move objects in her mind. While held in the witch's tower, uh, she met her friend, Ben, who's a teddy bear, and uh, with the help of two ghosts, a raven, Ben, a rat, and a sarkin, and the witch herself in a way, she was able to escape the uh, tower she was being held in, and, uh, and is now loose in the outside world. We ended off the last stream meeting the rather gentlemanly uh, fox, Raynard. And we're going to be finding out what exactly Raynard's deal is here uh, as we resume the game. But actually, uh, something I want to do is... I, I believe I should actually um, load my game from an earlier point. Okay, so Reynard here asked us for help. Um, he asked us if we could feed him when Ben got scared when the fox mentioned that he wanted to be fed. Um, Reynard immediately replied that he's not a savage and he would simply need some fruit. He just can't reach it. How are you doing, Ben? No, not right now. Reynard's waiting patiently for the fruit. Best not to keep him waiting. That's my friend, Ben. We'll find his home before all this is done, I'm sure of it. I simply require fruit from the tree, which my limbs are a little... ill-equipped to retrieve. Now, if you could be a deer. Reynard's waiting pa- Oh, give me one moment. This is too far away. Okay, time to see if my practice has paid off. <laughs> Reynard's waiting. <laughs> Reynard's. Oh, it's a puzzle. <laughs> no, that didn't work. No, that didn't work. Maybe... No. Can I, can I just break this off? No, it just goes back up. Oh, okay. I just had to um, point upwards, I guess. Ah, splendid! Bravo, dear girl! But I must say this method of yours. Uh, yeah. I'm actually a little new to it myself still. I see, I see. Oh, but where are my manners? First things first. The townsfolk of Wunderhorn, you see, they are an unenlightened bunch. Close minded, some might say. A talking bear fellow may come as quite a surprise to them. Um, it's okay, Anna. I can stay here. I don't want to be a problem. Ben, I'm not leaving you. Not now and not ever. Hmm. Touching. Hmm. Very well. Bear fellow, come with me a moment. I may have a solution. 
Oh. Um. Okay. Anna, be a dear and turn away while the fellow gets changed, won't you? Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Yes, of course. Wait, isn't Ben already kind of not wearing clothes? All right now, dear, come along now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Ben, you look so dashing. Wait, is that... It is! That's Wunderhorn! It's just like the mirror said. Indeed. And at that, my end of the bargain is fulfilled. I bid the two of you adieu, and good luck in these pressing matters you speak of. Thank you, Reynard. Thank you so much. Come on, Ben. Let's go find the wizard. Hmm, so it what is true. Say? The girl is telekinesis. Could it really be? Could she be from the farm of the West Woods? Mm hmm. Reynard knows us. Or at least has heard of us. Hello, little girl. Take your time. Birds sing sweetly. Um, Anna? You miss the birds Where is everyone? I'm not sure, Ben. I could be wrong, but I could have sworn I saw lights turning off as we came in. And people closing their shutters and locking doors. So you noticed it too then, huh? It's so strange. Never mind that. Let's just keep our eyes open. There has to be someone somewhere around here who knows the wizard, right? Okay, Anna. I'll let you know if I find someone helpful looking who's not angry at us. Ben goes. I'm just a regular man looking for a regular wizard. Just an everyday thing. <laughs> Alright, so we got a bunch of stuff we can explore here. Let's start with this wanted poster. Wanted. A young... young girl and... bear companion? Wait, what is this? It goes on to describe me exactly. The two are extremely dangerous. Do not approach, but warn authorities immediately. By order of the royal family? Mm. I don't understand. We didn't do anything. I don't know what this is about, but I think we best get what we need and leave as soon as possible. Nope, that doesn't work. Ah. Uh, I don't think vandalizing the posters will make us less guilty. It's a wanted poster made by the royal family. For me and Ben of all people. I don't know what this is about, but I think we best get what we need and leave. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look, Anna. Look, I think I found people. I think you're right, Ben. Good work. Come on, let's go see them. Uh, yeah, but, um, I'm too young. I'm not allowed in places like that. <laughs> well, neither am I. But we need their help. Yeah, but there's a strange man sleeping on the table. Why is Make he sure sleeping on the table, Anna? It's okay, Ben. Look, why don't you wait out here while I take a quick look inside? Okay, Anna. I can do that. Just be careful, okay? Uh... <clears throat> Good evening, sirs. Hey, girl. Is it me, or... <clears throat> isn't she... you know... <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I thought so. How about that? Huh. Um, Interesting reaction. Sirs? Hello? Evening, little miss. What can I do you for? I'm trying to find a wizard. I was told he lives here, in Wunderhorn, see? 
All right. Um, so do you know any? Any wizards? You do realize where you are, right? Um, yes? A tavern? Little miss, this village. This is a magic village. Really? Oh, wow. Ah, indeed. It's a dying practice, but there's still plenty of them lingering. You know, the magic folk. Witches, wizards, and the sort. Ugh, not more witches. A girl your age, little miss. You'd best not be dealing with the likes of them. Stories of children been up and vanishing. Cries from the old mill. Oh no, that's terrible. Where did they go? What's this old mill? It's out the back of the village, near the bridge to the woods, but, uh, not my business, little miss. I'll just clean my glass here and pay them no mind. Don't want no trouble now. Did you say you recognized me? When I came in, you seemed to know me. Aye, you heard rightly. But... How is that possible? I mean, I'm from a faraway farm. I don't know anyone. That may be, but the royals seem to know you. You and the so-called bear man. Hmm? Aye, Gil says he's called that on account of his gruesome bear-like appearance. Says he stands ten feet tall, eats people whole. Best be careful of him out there, little miss. Ah, <laughs> Okay, but how do these royals even know anything about me? What do they want me for? Not my business, little miss. I'll just clean my glass here and pay them no mind. Don't want no trouble now. Well, if that's the case, then I'll help find the children and the wizard. You're not really from around these parts, are you? No, sir. I've come a long way looking for this wizard. So kidnapping witch or not, actually, I should probably be getting back to looking now, too. Thank you kindly for your help, sir. Mm. Oh, yes. Wait, little miss. If you want to know a good place to look for one, well, out in the square there, behind the big old church, there's an alleyway. That sounds suspicious. Down there, that's where I see him coming and going sometimes. Uh, just be careful out there. Not usual for a girl to be out there alone. I wouldn't want you vanishing like the rest of them now. You know, mister, I'm beginning to think you care more about others than you let on. Ah, no, no, no. Just, uh, cleaning my glass, minding my own. <laughs> Don't worry about me, sir. I have a feeling I'll be all right. I'm guessing the bartender must see different people come in and out of here all day. I bet if there's anyone who knows a lot about the town, it's this guy. Hmm. No. I don't really want to use the portrait with anything. I prefer to hold on to it. Hopefully I can find the people in it and warn them about Winfrieda. I'm guessing the... I bet if... Alright, thank you, mister. Better get back to what I was doing. Aye, as should I. Take care out there, little miss. Such a grumpy looking fellow. I bet deep down he's just a big old softy, though. <sighs> he doesn't seem to be a particularly chatty man. I think I'll leave him be. All right. Ugh, no way. I'm not that hungry. There's a not very nice smell coming from there. Oh. I really don't think I want to know what it is cooking inside. I really don't. <laughs> These little things are so hot, they're cooking the broth all by themselves. Yeah, coals are really cool. They... The, the briquettes that they're made from can store a lot of heat and they last for a long time because they don't burn away as quickly. Because I, I think it's because they're partially burnt already, or it's because, uh, oh no, no, charcoal. Uh, coals are the ones that are mined. 
in coal mines, literally. Um, but they basically serve the same, same, same that they basically serve the same purpose. They're long-lasting uh, fuel for burning. Oh no, they're much too hot to carry around with me. Oh sure, let me use my telekinesis. I don't want to be too reckless with this power. I think I'll leave that be. All right, how about telekinesis? That would only make it all messy. Yes. Hello. Oh, you look so sad. For good reason, I guess. Yes, he's hung up on a wall. Ah, uh, I'd love to take him and set him free, but I think he's a bit beyond my help now. Never say never. Telekinesis. No, my telekinesis won't work here. Okay, fine. Oh, is that Lannister symbol? I've seen these before. They're family crests to show what house you're from. The bartender here seems way too easy going to be a lion or a wolf, though. Aye, that'd be true enough, but don't want to take sides neither. Jeez, you're even impartial with making <laughs> friends. No, I like them where they are. A Lannister always pays their debts. Grandpa always warned me against being destructive for the sake of it. I think I'll respect that advice. That sounded nice. But also, I want to destroy things. Is that so much to add? There's two there. One for beer, and one for water. Somehow I think one gets used a lot more than the other. Yeah, you gotta make sure people are healthy and hydrated. And, um, you know, water is very useful for that. Uh, nah. I don't think that will help. Mm, nah. I could just ask the bartender if I wanted to pour a drink. Can I? No, I can't. Alright. Hi. There's two there. One for beer, and one for water. They both seem to be running into the tavern from somewhere outside. Ooh. Can I follow a water line? But... I don't see a reason to do that at the moment. I guess that means that someone will come in here later. Change the scenery or the circumstance. <laughs> maybe in his dream he's off on his own little quest. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. It doesn't seem to be a particularly... Oh, same description for the, uh, the guy by the, the counter. Eve! Isn't that a bit of a hazard, having them over the door like that? I just realized that um, Anna is fully talking out loud every time she looks at something. Classic point of adventure stuff, but uh, in this game people seem to notice when she talks out loud. No way! No way! Alright. Just go again. Talk to Ben. That's my friend, Ben! We'll find. How are you going out here? I'm swell, thanks. This place is nice and light, and the lamps are warm, so I'm very well right here. <laughs> That's good to hear, Ben. You going okay on your own here? You going okay on your own here? Oh, yes! I'm just happy we're finally here. I've walked way too much. This town, though, I'm glad it has the cure, but... I think I know what you mean. We're definitely not wanted here by the villagers. Well, like it or not, this is where the cure is, and we're staying until we find it. Exactly. We only need to stay as long as it takes, and then we'll find our way home. Wherever that may be for you, too, we'll find it. I'll make sure of it. Okay. That sounds good. Bad summary. I was curious. Has any more details of what happened before Winfrieda's tower come back to you yet? No, not exactly. It's just 
that family portrait from Winfrieda's tower. I keep feeling like I know that girl. She's so familiar, but I just can't remember. Hmm. Well, if I find anything out about it, I'll let you know, okay? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Alright, guess I better get back out there. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Bye, Ben. There's a bunch of stuff. I should try stuff. using my power for something else, I think. Oh. Aw, all this hay has that kind of farm smell from home. It That's... is exciting to see all these new things, but I miss Grandpa a lot. That's the smell of hay. <laughs> if something was hard to find, Grandpa always said, Oh, Anna, you may as well try and find a needle in a haystack. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually... Oh, hold on. Oh? Well, there you go. Not so hard to find them after all, Grandpa. Did I actually get a needle in the haystack? No. Telekinesis won't work here. Uh... Needles are for sewing. What was the knee... What was the button? It was down? Yeah. It's for sewing. I had to teach myself on the farm since Grandpa isn't very good at it. I have needle and I have scissors. No, I just need some thread. <laughs> Aww. It is ex... Whoa. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else here. What was that? Far away from home. Wrong game, mister? Oh, what was that? No. Oh. I guess that was a reference to one of their other games, maybe? Bundahorn Antiques. Strictly no pets, gawkers, loiterers, fun, and definitely no children. Oh my. Well, I'm just here to help Grandpa. I'm sure they can make an exception. I should head to the alley. Apparently that's where magic folk are mostly. Alright, I must be going to the alley. The sign just says tavern. Straight to the point, I suppose. Indeed. Cute! So talented! Have to say, though, all the glum frowns are ruining the fun a bit. Oh, how lovely! Aren't you all just the sweetest? Ah, yes! The people of Wunderhorn! At last they come to show their admiration! More talking animals! Aw, you are so cute! Good gracious! The girl wastes no time in forgoing talent for superficiality! Hmm. Me, the great Rustvik van Betoriki. My word, truly there's no respect for the greats anymore. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Rustwig. I didn't mean any offense. All right, all right. Very well. What is it you want, then? Great van Betoriki? Why are you the great van Betoriki? Are you famous? Ah, oh, am I? My word, were you educated in the slightest, commoner? Oh, the people of Bremen, they did love me so. It is true. Alas, all good things must come to an end. They stopped coming to your shows? Uh, no, I was exiled, forced to abandon my town like a mere common criminal. But I persevere, as all greats do. Do not fear or mourn for me, commoner. Right. I'll try not to. But what did you do? Did you do something bad, Roostwig? Well, my companions and I had procured residency in the cottage for our retiring comfort. 
Okay. However, some Bremen commoners took it upon themselves to call it uh, squatting. <laughs> so you're all homeless then? So you're all homeless then? Do you have anywhere to stay? <sighs> the proverbial cat is out of the bag. Might as well profess it all. If truth be told, we had reserved a desirable lakeside residence. It was perfect. Alas, upon our arrival, a band of uncouth rogues took it upon themselves to uh, bargain with the owners. Oh, you mean they struck a better deal and the owners ran with it? Ah, well, you could say that. The owners did indeed run. Far, far away. Oh, oh, that kind of bargaining. Yep, bandits. Oh my, well, that, that's not fair, Roostwig. That's robbery. Dear Fräulein, they are not called rogues without reason. But someone should do something. Roostwig, that cabin should have been yours. Just leave it with me. I'm going to go see if I can level with them and get you guys your home. Level? Level with uncouth rogues? You do that. <laughs> Where was the cabin you guys want to sit down in? Where was the cabin you guys wanted to settle down in? If truth be told, we had reserved a desirable lakeside residence. So like it lake. was perfect. Alas, just leave it with me. Level? When these guys talk too? I never met animals who talk. Don't these guys talk too? I've never met animals before who talk. Is that a Wunderhorn kind of thing or something? It is an education thing. And I don't want to be considered a common animal thing. <laughs> but sadly, no. My companions are without the same expertise of the human language. I'm afraid you'll have to restrict your swooning to me. Ah, oh, what a shame. All right. I better let you all get back to what you're doing. Aw, so have to say, though. Ah, so there's just one unit. Gotcha. Culture! How exciting to see all these things built about all kinds of stories and people. I hope one day someone will tell a story about me somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like the main water feature has been switched off. Although, I believe the lever there should pump out whatever's in those pipes if I use it. I have a feeling it's not gonna be water. Hmm, I believe this pipe. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to be running to the tavern. The water supply there must be directly connected to this pump here. Interesting. I believe the lever there should pump out whatever's in. Hey, water! Okay, that's not fighting after water to come out. That was fun. Back to finding the cure, I guess. That was fun. Hmm. Only, there's nothing here to switch this pipe with. Maybe something inside the tavern, though. Hmm. Hmm. That's an intro. Only, there's nothing. Instead of water, it'd be something else. Okay. No. Telekin- Well, I think that's a puzzle for later. I should head to- The sign says, Fits, bobs, are broken. We meet all your metal smithery needs. Hello? Is someone in there? Huh? Sorry? I just said hello. I was wondering if I could ask you about a few things. Uh, I've got too much work as it is. Sorry, you'll have to come back later. Oh, okay then. Kind of unwelcoming, but okay. Die! Ah. I'm not sure if my power will be of any help here. Alright, fine, you won't, you won't murder people. Okay, uh... Is there cheese on top of the horseshoe? Why can't I get that? Give me cheese. The sign says fits. Maybe it's not interactive yet. It will be later. Okay.
I should head to the alley. It's a one- I don't know what- Ah. Uh, I should head to the Wow, I always thought these were really beautiful in my books at home. It's even more impressive in person though. So pretty. I should head to the I should head to the Oh, okay, in one church. There are only more houses and villagers back that way, and they were all hiding from me. They were all They were all hiding away from Ben and I as we came in. I doubt they want to chat. Hello. Bah! Oh! Oh, that oh my. Hello there, child. Hello. H hello, miss. I didn't mean to startle you. <gasps> that book. Where did you get it? Sorry? Oh, this magic book? Well, that's kind of a long story. I must have it! Um, can I have it? Please? Well, I, nice thing. I'm not sure. I did go through a lot to get it. Hmm. You, you, you're all alone out here? A child? Yes. Alone? In a dark alleyway? Well, yep. I'm looking for someone. Perhaps you know him? A wizard of some sort? Uh... No, I do not know anything about the wizard's secret magic shop. Huh? Wait, the wizard's shop? That door you just came through. What was that? Oh, uh... uh... Oh, she has really bad tales. Curses! Bested by a child. This is why I do not like children. Um, pardon? Perhaps I do know something about a secret wizard's shop. Perhaps. What of it? Really? Oh, please, miss. Could you show me where it is? Mm, okay. The price is one magic book. Oh, uh, well... You promise you won't do anything bad with it, right? <laughs> yes, yes, whatever you say. Hmm. Well... That's kind of concerning. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. Don't think bad hey. with it. Hey, wait a second. Oh, ah, yes. Oh, good, she actually did come back. <laughs> Magic shop. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. They sell some chickens feed in the foreground. Hello, wizard. Uh, hello. <laughs> is is anybody home? Who goes there? Oh, uh, hello. My name is Anna, sir. Ah, uh, Anna, dear child of the West. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry. I, I thought this was the wizard's house. Ah, uh, but it is, Anna. I it was the it is talking. the sorceress's house, to be more exact. Pleased to meet you, young lady. I've been waiting for you. Oh, oh, I see. I'm sorry. Pleased to meet you, too. So you... you know about my grandpa, then? Of course, dear, of course. Please, take a seat. I can't believe I finally found you. I don't even know where to start. Do you have a cure for my grandpa? How do I save him? I'll do anything. Patience, dear, relax. We have time. He is gravely ill, it is true. But it is a special kind of illness. And a special illness, you see, deserves a special spell. Okay. What do you mean by a special kind of illness? What do you mean, a special kind of illness? Your grandpa, he is cursed. 
A very dark and powerful curse at that. No, Grandpa. But you must know, for such a spell, there are great and powerful objects needed. Objects I do not possess. All right. Whatever they Another are, I'll quest. get them. Grandpa, he... he's all I have. Sadly, they are, how do you say, protected. Oh, protected? Uh, yes, that is what I said. Child, didn't this grandpa of yours tell you not to interrupt people all the damn time? <laughs> oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Hmm, well, as I was saying, there are three sacred objects that I need to complete the cure. But taking them from their owners is another matter. Okay, so what are these sacred objects? Okay, so what are these sacred objects? Where should I look for them? The first is an orb of great power, the Amber Orb. Merely possessing it grants the user exponential magical power, enough even to break the curse. Okay. It can be found in the woods beyond the mill, in the depths of a lake protected by the vice of Frauen, ghastly oh, spirits that haunt the waters, tricksters of the very worst kind, Whatever you do, child, do not enter those waters. Oh my! So, how shall I get the orb then? You will find a way, I'm sure. If you want to save your grandpa, you will have to. Yes. Yes, I will. I will find a way. And the second object? And the second object? An enchanted rose from the tops of Glass Mountain. This is the heart of the cure. The soul of the spell's essence, if you will. At its peak is housed a nasty outcast of this world. A bitter, twisted old fool that has embraced his seclusion. Ask for the rose, and the rose alone. Hmm. He guards many protected objects, but that he might part with. Oh, I see. All right, so Glass Mountain. The and tale goes that else. a dragon once gave passage to those that were worthy. You should speak to the minister at the church. He would know more on the legend. Wow, a dragon! All right, the minister at the church. And the final object? And the final object? Fortunately, this is quite a great deal easier. In fact, I do believe you have it already. Really? Let me see. Um... Don't be dull. The spell book child from Winfrieda's tower. Oh. Uh. Oh. What? What is it? You do have it, don't you? Well, mm -hmm. I did, but... But an old lady took it from me. Just outside. Oops. Is that important? One of the most powerful spell books in all the land, and you gave it away. Well, not like that. I mean, she was nice about it. It seemed like a nice little old... Never mind. You must find it regardless. Oops. It contains the chance for the spell and is absolutely vital. Uh, all right. I will. I'm sorry. Don't apologize, child. Just get it back. Uh, do you know how my grandpa is doing? Do you know how my grandpa is doing? Can you tell me? I've been in the woods for some time now, looking for Wundahorn. So I just... I just want to know if he's still okay. I can tell you this much. He's not getting any better while you sit here chatting away. Oh, oh rude. N no, I guess not. Okay, the amber orb offers power in the woods. The road, and it, uh, in the woods by the lakeside, which is actually where we're going anyway, to help the animals with their house. Uh, the rose in the glass mountains, and we're not supposed to ask for anything else except the rose. The spell book is a fetch quest or a problem we created by ourselves that we're going to resolve because uh, it's the book that we gave to the old lady just now. I best get looking for these objects then. Thank you so much, Miss. Um, gee, I'm sorry. I think I forgot your name. I never said it. The objects aren't finding themselves, you know. Oh, yes, okay. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Children. <laughs> well, that's, uh, second time we got that reaction. Let 
Let me in. I'm taking your stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. I best get looking for these objects then. Um, yes. Okay. I'll see you soon then with the objects. Okay then. Very clear um, cloth of the uh, shop here. That sheet looks pretty old. I think it's been left hanging there for quite a while. I can't reach that. Use that sheet powers. looks pretty old. I and well, it did get rather cold on that long trip here. I could use a sheet going home. Gimme. Uh, oops a daisy. Guess I still need a little more practice with this. Oh well. I item get. Quite a long sturdy. Quite a long sturdy piece of rope. Always useful. Oh, I have a needle. I can just repair the sheet. Uh, oops a daisy. Guess I still need a little more practice with this. Let's see here. A lamp post. It's quite an old and intricate looking thing. Seems like it's as old as the church. Ah, look at that. A cute little dragon on top. Just like in the church window. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break here just so that I can get some water. And then we'll continue. Be right back. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, 